The following was recovered from the information archives of the Sylvanian Office of Civil Interest shortly after the collapse of the Kruvik regime. It was the sole surviving document from the SK files. All others were destroyed or have yet to be located. It was taken from the diaries of a Sylvanian soldier. Their name and unit remain unknown. Journal entry, August 18th, 526. A few weeks ago, we received word that the push near the town of Skogva was called off. Two days ago, when we suddenly received word from the highest authority to occupy the town, we realized why. The whole place had been gassed. The town, the farms outside, every building and foxhole lay under a blanket of some sickly green fog. We were given gas masks and told we have to keep them on the whole time we were stationed there. Can't even take them off to eat, except in this weird tent they'd set up in one of the buildings. Not enough room to lay cots in there, so we have to wear them to sleep too. The fog is so thick, I can barely see past the trees outside of town. Maybe this mask is driving me crazy, or maybe it's the gas, but I swear, there's something out there. Alright guys, so here's the village. You can see it lined out like this. We have no idea where the enemy is going to be coming from. Now I've got this new Stanlaw machine gun here. There has been an update to the weapons pack. We also have this new submachine gun that I might want to check out a little bit later. Alright, so Intel's just come in. Headquarters is saying we need to hit the perimeter. Make sure we stay on our toes. We've got movement outside the perimeter. We're not sure what it is yet. Everybody's kind of freaking out. Look at that. That's one of the new submachine guns. They look beautiful. But this is the nightmare at Skolvga. Now, this is by Fifth Smell, the maker of the Project Altiris mod. And what I love is like, look at this guy. Custom weapons, custom models, custom map, custom scenarios. This is the first official, yes, zombie defense. So we're, we're about to see if my guys could stop shooting me. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna use your little pistol? Whoa, dude! I'm I wonder if I can get on top of the buildings. Alright, let's get to the trenches, so check this out. We got guys with the bolt action rifles here. Got another guy with that looks like the semi-automatic rifle. That's what I love, man. We got multiple types of weapons here. Now, the Ravenfield AI can obviously- oh my god, that doesn't look good. Those guys are just hanging back. Oh my god, they're swarming! But look at this. Look at these trenches, man. We gotta hold these trenches. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. If these trenches get overrun... Oh, look at that. I just got- are they flanking us? Are they flanking us? I only had four rounds left. Boys, I think- I think we might need to pull back. Not yet, not yet. We're- we're fine. We're fine. Uh, oh my god, they're pulling back! What? I, I- I didn't mean to actually pull back. Guys, I need- I need you to help me You know what? If you're not gonna help me hold this trench, I'm gonna hold this trench myself. Where are they at? I will not be scared away. Hold on. Dang, that guy keeps running! Oh my god! Okay, this is bad. Zombie in our face! Look at the zombie's face, guys. You can tell they're zombified. And look at their attack. So, the, the models are made by... Fifth Smell. Oh my god, that was awesome. But the zombie AI we're using was made by Atherline 5, which we... Is that a zombie? Oh my god, that freaked me out. What I love is because what you just heard was that, like, there was this smog, right? So that's why all the soldiers here are wearing gas masks. The ones who are not sm wearing gas masks were the ones that were hit by this... Were hit by the chemicals. Because it's like, this is kind of set, kind of like, maybe late World War One or if World War One were to have stagnated. Because there's all this, like, technology, but at the same time... Oh my god, that guy's freaking out. Oh! Alright, my, my weapon animation's derped right now. 
But can you imagine if we got like proper? Oh my god. They already took the flag? They took the flag from- Boys, we need to retake the flag. We need to get our supply lines back. Oh my god, this may be impossible. This may be impossible. Oh man, I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. What if we could go back in time and get new technology? Try out different and better zombie killing technology. I got just the thing. Whoa, what, look at this. His Royal Majesty, King Zrikosi the Third, and his Department of Defense. By order of the Crown, all residents of this area are to evacuate at once. Gather only what belongings you can carry and proceed eastwards in an orderly manner. Those unable to do so may await the arrival of the Home Army to assist them. Those who refuse to cooperate will be shot. Wow. Are these signs all over? Oh man, the zombies are freaking right there, man. No wonder, so what, they were planning on gassing this? Or they knew it was gonna be gassed? God, I love this new machine gun. But this thing overheats. The problem with it is it overheats, but what if we could use something that is actually good when it overheats? How about the Flammenwerfer? <laughs> is this, I don't think it's the first flamethrower in Ravenfield. But it's the first time I think I've ever used a uh, flamethrower. Dude, this thing... Oh, wow. We do have a limited fuel, though, so I guess that does make sense. All right, boy. Oh! Oh, that's my... Sh I literally am scared of my own shadow. But, I mean, name a better way to kill zombies than with a flamethrower. All right. I'm hearing a lot of action over here. We're at 590 fuel left. Come on, boys. Protect this. Oh, look. This guy's got a flamethrower. Dude, I want to see him in action. Oh my god, please don't fire that right now. We'll all die. What's he doing? Look at him, though. Look how cool this thing looks. Okay, you know what? Fine. We need to hold the line. I will lead by example. And I will burn and ache them all. Oh my god, until I get hit by friendly fire. Thanks, guys. I'm doing my job and you're trying to end my life. Oh, I love the sound effects of this thing. Oh, zombies over there. Whoa! That one was faster than the others. Are they evolving? Is it a rage virus? Oh god. Oh, we're out of- We're out of ammo! Run back! Oh my god, they're right there. Alright, I need to get back here, throw some ammo. Get my flamethrower some ammo back. I don't think it's working. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I don't think I can reload my flamethrower. We do need to still check out the SMG, though. I'm telling you, zombie defense in Ravenfield would work so well. We've already had little bits and tastes of it. We we had the, I think the first Halloween Easter egg where it was like the random artifacts. And like you had to find them and there was these, oh wow. I didn't realize that I could be totally flanked right now. All right, so we tried out most of the new weapons. Can't get flamethrowers back. That's too bad. Alright, so of the new weapons, there was the flamethrower, there was the stand law, but then there was also this ATP-90. So we're gonna give that a go. We're gonna check it out, see how it goes. A brave soldier died here today. Someone take out them zombies. I could make it so all my- oh my god, that's- I don't like- that looked like someone's grenade. Hit friends. That's not good. Whoa, 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 whoa. You better hold a gun up or I'm gonna assume you're a bad guy. Alright, so this has apparently a really good fire rate. Let's check it out. Oh, I love this thing! It's like a little baby woodpecker. And by the... Alright, where do they come from? 
I think I need to go investigate that, guys. I don't know if we have enough ammunition. You know what? You're right. I know what you're thinking, and I, I'm thinking the same thing. We need to get some soldiers to come with us. Oh my god, that don't get ambushed by zombies. That guy's a flamethrower. You guys are being recruited to go investigate the source of the zombies. Come on, boys. Let's go. We're basically the Ghostbusters. Come on, gentlemen. Pip pip cheerio and whatnot. Oh, they don't jump over walls, do they? They go through. All right. Don't worry about them. We're sneaking in. Guys, come on. Oh my god, this is bad. My squad won't even follow me into almost certain death to try to ascertain the origin of these zombies. Come on, boys. What are you doing? Stay close. The zombies don't see me right here. Look at that. I like the map. The, this... The ominousness. Wait, is that a word? The... It feels... Oh, really? Wow, welcome. Are you... Sh you guys are shooting each other. That's the SMG going, and what do you got? One of the semi-auto rifles or the rifle rifles? I literally got shot by my own friend. Alright, so they just keep spawning from over here. What is over here? But yeah, guys, you can download this. It's literally the first official zombie defense map. We've shown how you can, like, make your own zombie defense maps in previous episodes. Where we showed off the chainsaw. Oh, it, did that guy just run in there to get... Guy had a death wish. Don't worry. They seem to be... Wow. What is this? I feel like I'm on the moon. Hey. Step off. They have a little bit of sentience. I wonder if, like, this chemical weapon is kind of like... Oh, wow, they're coming! They're spawning immaculately. Oh, I left that soldier out there. Enjoy yourself, buddy. Alright, so we're back in town. Back to trying to defend. And I think we're doing good. We just gotta worry about friendly fire, honestly. Here we go. I'll lay down the pain. Whoops, sorry there. Hurts. Now what we need is just... So this was whipped up in order to celebrate Halloween, right? Which was yesterday. So yeah, this was whipped up in order to celebrate Halloween. But I feel like, with your guys' help, we could probably come up with some suggestions. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, I want to be able to get up in that that sniper tower here. Yes! Oh. Here we go. Remember the ladders update? Man, that feels like so long ago now. Now we can see everything from up here. Reload! Oh, wow. Jackson and the Bell Tower, man. You guys you guys ever watch Shame Fry Ryan? I actually kind of want to rewatch it now that I think about it. But I feel like Jackson and the Bell Tower right now. I wonder why are there no like Saving Private Ryan maps? Whatever happened to the D Day maps? Like, there's just so many maps that now some of these map makers are so creative. One of the things I want to do is go back to the map that Fifth Smell made, uh, St. Liven, I believe it was, where we had the naval, like, we had the naval, uh, convoy? Because he's updated it so that he's got destroyers in it. So we can have naval battles. Proper naval battles now. So I'm gonna try to do that because then what we're gonna have is not only planes, but also ships attacking the convoy, but also ships defending the convoy. And basically, he kind of goes into how you could kind of like... The beginnings, basically the first kind of expansion on like, you know, multi-crewed ships that are like kind of World War One, World War Two style. 
So it doesn't look... The zombies did take this, though. So it is possible for the zombies to take it. But, like, look at this battlefield, man. This is brutal. I, sh I should be able to... Oh my god, we're on the we're on the house. We it doesn't seem to want us to stay on there. Oh god, this is bad. Hey guys! How you doing? Thanks for the ammo. But I think I think now that we could we figured out how to defend and we got the flamethrower and the machine guns. We could definitely defend this. Until we ran out of ammunition. But, I mean, I'm hoping that we kind of see a continuation in the wave defense style maps. But we need better, we need better what? A better foundation. Officially. From Steel Raven, right? In, in like the next update, or not, maybe not the next one, but some update. We need scenario, like the foundations for proper scenarios. Wave defense, amphibious invasions. And that would be amazing. That's what I would love to see in Ravenfield. If it's gonna be PvE, player versus environment, aka single player versus bots, then we need to really make the most of games. Like other games don't have bots. You know what I mean? This is this is a treat that we have. You can do so much. What would you like to be see done in Ravenfield? Because I wanna see more Project Alteris. I want to see an actual D-Day invasion where the scripting is so people are continually coming in on amphibious landing craft. That would be amazing. Oh my god, they're here. I'm out of bullets? Oh, great. Guys. This is where it all ends, man. The zombies are coming in. Oh my god, I need more ammo. The zombies, dudes! The grenades! Oh, that took them out. You all right? Headshot. We have headshot damage. Oh, there's the guy with the flamethrower. Headshot damage versus regular damage, right? Make sure to shoot them while they're down. Double tap. All right, I'm out of bullets for everything. And I got killed by friendly fire. Perfect way to end it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Let me know, like, what kind of PvE, player versus bots, you'd like to see. I mean, the first two things, obviously, I've said it. Zombies. D-Day landings. I want that. Let me know what you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Brain.